I bought, trialed and tested some of the most viral products that you see online over and over again. In this video, I'm going to review them all for you and tell you if I think that they're worth purchasing or not. I just like to say that all of the opinions in this video are my own. So if your opinion differs from mine, that is absolutely fine. And I welcome conversations in the comments. Let's start off strong with a hair tool that has changed the at-home hair game forever. This is the Dyson Air App, and mine is over three and a half years old now. Let me tell you, it has had so much use. I've almost used this every single time I've washed my hair since I've had it. I've lost the filter cap, but other than that, it still works so well. I see so many mixed reviews on this, but I really think it comes down to your hair type. I have very straight, unfrizzy hair, and for me, it works so, so well. I do think there's definitely a technique to how you use it. In the beginning, my curls never lasted, but this is actually day two Dyson hair, would you believe? But for me, once I learned to use it to make my curls last, there was no looking back. And I think it's worth every single penny. I don't think I'll ever go to a salon and get a blow dry again. And it's changed the way I will do my hair at home forever. So for me personally, I would give the Dyson Air App 10 out of 10. Actually, I'd give it 12 out of 10. Next, we have a skincare product that unless you've been living under a rock, you've definitely seen online. This is Skin and Me, and I've been using this over a year now. I just have very breakout prone skin. I'll actually insert some photos of how my skin looked just over a year ago. I feel like I'm really exposing myself with these pictures, but it just gives you an idea of how my skin used to look. And I'll actually insert a photo of how it looks now without makeup on. Skin in Me has transformed my skin and also my confidence. I know that sounds kind of cringe, but anyone out there that has skin troubles, whether it's acne or whatever it might be, you might understand how unconfident it can make you feel. So how Skin and Me works is you take an online consultation and it will ask you different questions like what your skincare concerns are. As I've already mentioned, mine was breakouts, acne, but yours could be rosacea, it could be signs of aging, it could be dryness, redness, and everything else in between. Once you've taken the consultation, the dermatology team at Skin and Me will design skincare that is suited to you and your skincare needs. So it's not one size fits all, it's adapted and it's made for you. So how the daily doser works is so simple. Before bed you will wash and cleanse your face. You will then twist your daily doser until it clicks. You wipe the excess product off of the top and apply it to your face. You will then leave it to soak in for 10 minutes before applying some moisturiser. And that is it. It makes your skincare routine simpler but also more effective than ever. I actually started seeing the results from using the daily doser I would say within about six weeks. My breakouts really started to clear up and since then my skincare concerns have changed a lot. I now no longer barely ever get a spot which is crazy for me to say. And I've actually since then had my skin reviewed by the dermatology team at Skin and Me and I've had the ingredients inside my daily doser adapted because now my skincare concerns are more focused on things like dryness and signs of aging. I do actually very proudly work with Skin and Me and whenever I do they give me a discount code which I'm going to leave on screen up here. It's Freya 9 and it will get you your first daily dose for just 4 99 I'll also leave it linked down below so you can easily just go and check them out down there as well. But I totally understand how having bad skin can really kind of affect, it sounds extreme, but your life and your confidence. And for me, finding something that worked was worth every single penny and I honestly couldn't recommend them more. I'd also like to add that I'm still a full paying customer of Skin and Me and I pay the monthly subscription every month. So overall, I would have to give Skin and Me, without a doubt, 10 out of 10. It transformed my skin and it's worth every single penny. Let's stick with beauty products. And this next one is something that I actually only purchased last week. This is the Milk Hydro Primer. And I got sucked into buying this because all of the cool beauty girls on TikTok were saying how great it was. I believe it's meant to make your face go sticky. And then when you put your foundation on, it really holds. And I'm someone whose foundation can really slide off my face throughout the day. So I ran to Space NK to go and buy it. Since then, I've used it four times. And every single time I've used it, I've had to wash my makeup makeup off and start again. It makes my foundation look separated, it kind of peels and it just looks awful. I don't know if I'm using it wrong because everyone says it's great but for me it's absolutely horrendous and I would have to give this minus one out of ten and in fact I wish I could get my money back. Next, the winter shoe of all shoe Uggs. I mean I have three pairs so if that's not a sign I love them I don't know what is. In fact I actually have six pairs because at my mum and dad's I have the original Uggs. Do any of you remember like if you're kind of my age the Uggs that came up to here? They were a thing when I was at school. And then you'd fold them down and you'd have the fur on the outside. I also had the mini Uggs. They weren't actually mini, I think they were called short. I had those in grey and chocolate as well and I loved them. And then there was a time where Uggs just were not a thing, but now they are back with a vengeance and I'm so happy about it. So colour wise, this is the colour Antelope. 
chestnut and these are also the tasman in chestnut as well these are the ultra mini uggs and personally this kind of size is my absolute favorite they look great warm with jeans but also cute warm with leggings they're the softest comfiest warmest shoes in the entire world and even if you hate how they look once you've worn them you will love them forever it's like they're giving your feet a hug and as the weather gets colder they're just the best things to wear on earth size wise the ultra minis in my experience all fit true to size so if you're thinking about purchasing them get them in your regular size tasmans however fit so small these are actually a whole size up from my regular size and to be quite honest with you they're actually still too small i wish i'd gone two sizes up i personally don't find these as comfortable to wear as the ultra minis i mean they look really cool but practicality wise I don't really think these are much of a vibe. My foot sometimes kind of slips out the back and because of the platform, you kind of walk in them a little bit funny. Well, I do anyway. Overall though, Ugg in general, if we're not just talking about the Tasman, I would give them 10 out of 10. And if you're thinking about getting some, get them because your feet will thank you forever. I know they're actually sold out in a lot of places at the moment, but I will try and find some in stock and link them down below. If you haven't been suckered into buying one of these, just know that your willpower is much stronger than mine when it comes to being influenced to buying things online. This is the Stanley Cup, and I wish mine was in like a little bit of a cuter color, but it's in blue. I see so many people with this like surgically attached to their arm. I understand it though, I get it. It keeps water so cold. Like you can put ice in this thing and the ice will still be icy the next day it also holds a lot of liquid and it's much more sustainable for our planet than drinking out of plastic bottles i mean overall it does what it says on the tin it's perfect for keeping your water cold and when you're at home like you know a little sip out of it it's kind of cute but when you're out and about i feel like so stupid holding this like i can't like i don't take it out of the house with me i did take it to pilates one time but like I feel like that's as far as i'd go but if you like your water or your coca-cola or whatever it is you like to drink ice cold you're definitely gonna like this. I would give it 10 out of 10 for use, but eight out of 10 for practicality, just because, you know, practicality wise, I just I just feel a bit of a fool. The Chanel Classic Flat, I feel like this is gonna be a controversial one. This definitely doesn't come under the viral category for me. This is definitely more of a classic and a timeless piece. But you see these bags all over the internet, so I felt like I could include it in this video. I bought this bag over three years ago and I'm so glad I bought it then. Since then, Chanel have increased the price of this bag by over £3,000, which is actually insane. And although I love this bag and have zero purchase regrets, would I buy it now for over £8,500? I'm unsure. The quality is not great at all. My tan lock is tarnished. The base of this bag has also gone quite funny as well, where it actually tends to topple over. For the price, I just don't really think the quality is there, but the only thing you can say with Chanel bags is they really hold their value. So chances are, if you bought one of these five years ago and you kept it in good condition, you could probably get almost double what you paid for it right now. So investment-wise, they're not too bad, but quality-wise, given the price, I just don't think they're great. So I think based on the not so great quality, I would have to give this a six out of 10. Although I said this in a video just recently, I am an absolute mug and I still want it in every color. Next we have the, is it La Neige? Is it La Nage? I'm unsure, but we have their lip masks. I have the sweet candy. I think this is the berry and also the chocolate. My berry one is almost all gone. I use this every single night on my lips. I feel like I cannot go to bed without it. I literally lather it on and when I wake up, my lips feel so hydrated. I recently got the sweet candy one just to have in my handbag because it actually makes like a really nice lip balm kind of gloss. And it's actually quite strange, but the chocolate one really does smell and therefore kind of like taste of chocolate but overall i love these lip balms i see them absolutely everywhere but they live up to all of the hype and they are a 10 out of 10 lip balm airpod max i feel like i have a very much love hate relationship with these i actually spoke about them in a video i think it was at the beginning of this year reviewing the products i bought last year and these are one of the things i bought last year and originally i said i didn't really like them because i didn't realize they had noise cancellation i used to say when i was walking around the streets and i had them on I hated it because I wasn't aware of my surroundings because I couldn't hear anything. And then the comment section told me there was noise cancellation. I mean, how stupid am I? And since discovering that button, it has kind of changed my life. The sound quality of these are just so good. But personally, I only really like to wear them if I'm traveling, kind of sat in one place, like on a plane, on a train, or if I'm in the gym. 
walking around the streets with them on i still feel a little bit odd and i just prefer to wear my kind of more discreet airpods if you're after a pair of headphones that have a great sound quality and also look you know quite cool at the same time then these are definitely i can't even hear you like i can't even hear what i'm saying but these are definitely 10 out of 10 lulu lemon leggings let's talk about what i see no one talking about okay i have spent thousands i want to repeat thousands of pounds in lululemon i love the fit i just love how they feel the material of even you know the align zip up jackets these are the align leggings i have i want to say 12 pairs i'm not even exaggerating i have so many pairs of these leggings because i live in them i love them however the quality of the material when it comes to bobbling is so bad i mean the reason i have 12 pairs of them is because after i want to say like 10 washes they're ready for the bin which is actually a crazy thing to say when these are around 90 pounds but because i love how they feel on and like i just feel good in them i buy them again and again like i really am a mug but the bobbling is out of control and it doesn't just happen to the leggings it happens to the jackets as well one of my friends said to me not to put them in the tumble dryer so i stopped that and just air dried them and it still happens one thing i don't have is a debobbler and maybe like if I got a debobbler on it would work, but the bobbles are kind of like within the fabric. They're not on top. And so you can't really even like shave them off. I want to say I love them because you know, part of me does, but the quality is just, it's not okay. Fit and wearability wise, I would give them 10 out of 10, but because of the quality, honestly, I feel like these are six out of 10. More lip products. And now we have Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balms. I do actually have a third one, which is in the flavor vanilla, but I don't know where it is. Here we have brown sugar and we also have pink sugar. Truthfully, brown sugar is not the right color for my skin tone, but I bought it because all of the other colors were sold out at the time and I have no patience and I really wanted to try it. These smell and taste incredible. I actually have um, the pink sugar one on right now they're so great just to kind of like throw into your bag they give you a very kind of glossy semi-hydrated finish to your lips i don't really feel like they last very long like on my lips personally but i do love the texture of them and when they're on they do look quite nice but i do think there are better lip products out there like for example the laneige lip masks overall i would have to give them i mean i don't want to be too harsh let's say eight out of 10. Before we get into this, I just want to do a disclaimer to say how much I love GHD, okay? I love their products so much. My first ever pair of straighteners were GHD. Since then, I've had multiple different pairs just because you know when they do like the pink ones and then they did the blue ones and like for Christmas, I wanted the glittery ones, the leopard print ones, like I had them all. And GHD straighteners last forever and in my opinion, they are the best straighteners on the market. I also love their curling one. This is the one I use when I haven't Dyson air out to my hair. The Dyson, I didn't actually mention this earlier, it doesn't work in humid heat on my hair anyway. Like whenever I go on holiday, I never take my Dyson because any type of humidity, my hair is straight, straight away. So whenever I'm away or quite a lot of the time in the summer in London, I always use a curling wand and this is from GHD. It is the GHD Curve, the largest barrel and it is so good. It gives a very similar look to how the Dyson does, but it holds and it lasts until you wash your hair again. Like it's insane. Now I've told you how much I love GHD tools. Let's review the GHD Duet Styler. Now, truthfully, I just don't think this works on my hair. I don't know if it's just my hair type. Other people might find it works for them, but it just never fully dries my root and it takes me so long to use it. Like it's actually quicker for me to blow dry my hair with a regular hair dryer and then straighten it with a pair of GHD straighteners and I get the same result in half the amount of time. But with this, it just seems to take me forever. I like the concept. I think it's a great idea. And I've also seen girls using it online. I have really curly hair and it seems to work great on them, which is why I said maybe it's my hair type it's just not really for me. So I'm so sorry, GHD, because I really do love you guys. And as I said, 10 out of 10. And your straighteners, 10 out of 10. And even your hairdryer, 10 out of 10. But this, for me, 5 out of 10. I feel so bad. The Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I didn't want to like this, truthfully, because it's kind of pricey for a moisturiser. This is £70, but it's worth every penny it's unreal it makes your skin like glass it's so hydrating i love it under my makeup it's just a brilliant moisturizer and i have bought this over and over again i think this must be at least my fourth pot it's the only thing i'd say i go through it very quickly but it's beautiful it's almost got like a water like consistency to it but it just leaves your skin feeling insane so for me 10 out of 10. The Hermes Birkin 25 Togo Leather Gold Hardware. Now, this is something else that 
you definitely can't call it viral like the Chanel bag it's a classic but you do see a lot of them online I don't think all of them are real gonna be honest with you but you see a lot of Birkin bags online if you've watched my videos before or even follow me on Instagram you'll have seen this many many times I'm very proud to say that I actually was so lucky to get hold of this this year for my 30th birthday and I'm still not over the fact that She's mine, to be honest. I have not a single negative thing to say about this bag. Okay, maybe one. Sometimes, if you're wearing it like this for a long period of time, your arm can ache. But that is literally the only negative. It is made to perfection. It's beautiful. It's classic. It's... It's just my favourite bag of all time. And I just want it in every single colour. I also think online there's a lot of misconceptions when it comes to a Birkin. And everyone thinks they're a lot more expensive than they are if you buy them from store. I mean the resale prices are extortionate. But it's actual price, you might be shocked to hear, but it's less than a Chanel bag. And it's actually a better investment than stocks and shares. I would give this bag a million out of ten. It's worth every single penny and I love it so much. The Hourglass Skin Tint Veil. This blew up. Like, everyone and their dog was using it on TikTok. And of course, like everything else I've shown you guys, I ran to go and get it because I needed to try it for myself. This definitely is very, very light coverage. If you like fuller coverage foundation, this is not going to be for you. In summer, I really liked this because it was nice and light on my skin. And it gives that whole kind of like your skin but better kind of look. It's super glowy and natural. But if you have let's say any pigmentation or breakouts it doesn't really cover a lot but it's not actually meant to because it's a skin tint and I think based on the fact that it is a skin tint it's definitely worth the money and I would give it as far as tints go 8 out of 10 I would have given it 10 if it lasted longer but maybe if I used a setting spray it might last a bit longer but if you like fuller coverage foundations don't be sucked into buying it just because everyone's skin looks like glass with it on because truthfully their skin looked like glass without it. So that was my review on some of the most popular slash viral products we see on the internet and I really hope you've enjoyed this. I will link everything down below because maybe it's helped you made a decision on if you're going to purchase something or not. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye bye.